What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a competitive Empoleon team alongside with Loaded Dice Backs Caliber. Now, Empoleon, super dope Pokemon from one of my favorite generations, Diamond and Pearl, is rocking the competitive ability, which is so good to counter Incineroars, or I should say Intimidate Pokemon. You can lead Empoleon, if they send out Intimidate, you're going to get a free plus two special attack boost, then from there, you can just dominate the battle. Like I already mentioned, we also have Bash Calibur, one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, rocking out with the Loaded Dice and Icicle Spear, so it's hitting at least four times every single time. Cannot wait to showcase this team and dominate the rank ladder for you guys. But Empoleon's over here, rocking the leftovers as an item, and then an amazing move set of Surf, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Roost. So you got two stab moves that can hit pretty hard. Nice lovely coverage move, Ice Beam to deal with Tornadises, Thunderuses, Landeruses, absolutely amazing. And last but not least, you got Roost. Nice little HP recovery move, can never go wrong with that. Baxcalibur's over here with that loaded dice like we already mentioned with Icicle Spear, Lave Rush for big time damage, EQ, and Dragon Dance. If we can get a Dragon Dance set up with this Pokemon, we can really thrive out the battle from there. Other three Pokemon that pair up really well on this team is going to be Shen Pao, Entei, and Rillaboom. Obviously, Rillaboom and Entei both have first turn priority moves. Actually, this Rillaboom's not rocking grass, you guys. Kind of weird. Kind of weird, right? But Entei does have E speed for first turn priority. You pair it up with Shen Pao, both those physical attackers can do some big time damage. In our final slot, we got Thunderous. Nice little support Pokemon for today's team with Thunder Wave for speed control, Wild Bolt Storm for some damage, Taunt, and then Eerie Impulse. To, you know, knock off that special attacking Pokemon. So if they go, say, Fluttermane, we drop special attack to minus two in one turn because we do have Prankster with this Pokemon as well. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop into our first match showcasing competitive Empoleon and loaded dice back to Caliber. Hopping into our first match for today's video, we'd love to get started here with a victory, but I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my man George, thank you so much for making this team, and an even bigger thanks for becoming a member to the Jeans channel, huge shout out to you, thank you so much for supporting me, but if you guys want the Pokepace for this team, there will be a link down in the description below, definitely go check it out, but we're going up against an Incineroar and uh, Defiant Zapdos team, so... We have no Intimidate Pokemon, that's going to work well for us. They also have Indeedee, they got Hatterune and Ting Lu, so they can pop Trick Room, and then last but not least, they got Urshu. So their team's kind of split in half. You got the top half, the top three, which really thrive outside of the Trick Room, and then you got the bottom three that really thrive within the Trick Room. So looking at this team, I kind of want to lead competitive Empoleon just in case they want to Intimidate me. I would love that. I would love that. I definitely want to bring in a Pokemon like Rollaboom in the back end. I think that could be really good for us. We can change up terrain. And it would be awesome. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to lead. Huh. I could maybe lead Rillaboom just for fake out purposes. But no, I think I'd rather have him in the back end. So I am just going to go into, say, Entei here. So I have the choice of band. I can always do some big time damage. Um, hmm. Yeah, and then bring Shen Pao and Rillaboom. I do like that. Because if they don't end up leading in Sinwar. I could always just hard swap Empoleon for Shen Pao, giving Entei that huge damage boost. Or I could just leave him on the field and just allow him to do his thing. You never know. Maybe I should have led back his caliber. Could have been pretty good. But then Intimidate would have affected him. So I like him. I like him. Little inner focus Pokemon and Empoleon. And this is going to work perfectly. So we get that competitive boost. Looking dope. Looking awesome. And I got plus two. So. Only problem I have here is I have no protect on Empoleon. I have no protect. And actually, come to think of it, a lot of these Pokemon don't want to protect. We have protect on Shen Pao, which is good. But I would love to have protect here instead of maybe like Surf. But from here, he's definitely just going to fake me out. I do have this Terror type. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards going into just because Zapdos can hit me really hard. And I'm thinking that's going to be my play here. I'm just going to do that and... I can land a Hydro Pump. I would love to just get rid of Incineroar. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'm just going to choice into a... I'm just going to choice into a Sacred Fire here. I'm going to choice ban into a Sacred Fire and Terrastalize into a Fairy Tower. Type. Just to deal with all of this Zapdos' nonsense. And on top of that, the Dark Moves. All that good stuff. So Fairy Tower type, pretty solid on Empoleon. We got competitive plus two. Plus two on special attack boost. Love it. Love it. Fake Out is going to go into the Entei slot. We're inner focus. We're in a focus. That's huge. That's huge. A big time terror from us pops out. Um, 
I think it's a defense drop, so Sacred Fire might just KO that now. Sacred Fire we're gonna come across with Choice Band. We say bye bye to Zap. Those get it on out my face. And hopefully Hydro Pump connects. Fingers crossed. Empoleon. Empoleon, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I was sitting there and it kind of like delayed. And usually when it delays, it just misses. So it was sitting there. I was like, Empoleon, come on. You got to pop the Hydro Pump. And it finally went through. So let's go. Huge first turn for us. But the weird thing is they faked out our Entei in Master Tier. I feel like that might have been a misclick. Knowing that we had Inner Focus. Right? Because Intimidate just prompts the Inner Focus ability. So maybe that was a misclick. I don't care. I'll take it. A win is a win. A win is a win. But Hot Star for us, competitive and pulling on. That's why I love his Pokemon so much. Like, it just straight up counters Incineroars. Especially if they lead that and we lead this. We just go straight plus two. But now they throw out Ting Lu, drop in special attack, but still, we have a high special attack stat right now. They're going to go into the Dark Earth, which is great for my Empoleon. Which is lovely for my Empoleon. So I could go Surf here. I really don't want to. I think I'm just going to go try to go for another Hydro Pump. And I'm just going to Sacred Fire this Earth slot with the Choice Ban. And the Choice Ban, and they just rips. But they're going to Rat Slice. I could see this being Ting Lu here, or I could see it being Urshfu. It could really get it away. But it is going to be the Ting Lu just to dodge. Oh, I was going to go for an Ice Beam too. But just to dodge some of the damage output coming in from this Hydro Pump. It's really not going to do too much now. But I knew I should have used Ice Beam. Wicked Blow is going to fly through here. Entei's soaking it. The Sacred Fire is going to fly. Doing massive amount of damage. Hydro Pump is missing anyway, it looks like. Yeah. And Ting Lu is now going to go for a Heavy Slam. Ouch. I buy Empoleon. Heavy Slam coming in hot here. So we don't even get off our Hydro Pump damage. Kind of sucks. Um, I do have Ice Spinner to deal with that Ting Lu. But I think the first Pokemon that we have to get after it is going to be... Is going to be that Urshfu. Who I might want to fake out here. I wish I had Grass Glide. It would be so perfect right now. Grass Glide would be so perfect. But I'm going to go into Roll Room here. They have two final Pokemon. I'm just going to fake out the Urshifu slot. And I'm going to Sacred Fire the King Lou because I don't want Urshifu to just straight up detect this turn. Could be Choice Band, but I don't want it to detect and just, uh, and then have me double down the Urshifu and kind of just screw up this whole turn. So I'd rather just send the Sacred Fire into the Ting Lou, fake out the Urshifu slot, and hopefully the Sacred Fire should be able to KO Ting Lou. Super effective, stab, Choice Band, big time damage coming out here. Let's see. I mean, it's not paired up next to Shen Pao, but still. Big time physical attack and move. With the band that is choice. So again, Urshifu has that chance of protecting. I don't know if it is, and it is. And this is exactly why I went into this. Make out that slot, take a fire the other one, because I really wanted to, to double down this slot. But plenty of times in the past, every time I double down, they'll just attack and get off a huge protect. But there goes Sacred Fire. Leaving this thing on about five maybe that burn should KO I'm really hoping that burn can KO and he's gonna pop a rock slide you have rock slide okay it's not even doing that much damage so that pretty much wraps up the match actually no it doesn't because of course you get grassy terrain HP he's gonna get some grassy terrain HP um burn's gonna slowly chunk it up and the only Pokemon I'm worried about is this urge for Ting Lu I have Shen Pao in the back end to finish off so I'm just gonna go for an nice lovely wood hammer here and I'm just gonna double down into Urshfu for at this point Make sure it goes out this turn. Sucker Punch flying. Entei dying out here. Totally fine. Ting Lu cannot do enough damage to KO this Robin. You simply cannot. You just can't. And we outspeed it. Bang. Urshfu gone. So now I just bring out Shen Pao. Ice Spinner. Game set match. Game set match. Unless you got Fisher. You got Fisher? No. I was going to say, that'd be pretty cool if this thing had a one, one hit KO. Still wasn't winning, but it would have been cool. Definitely would have been cool. But hot start for us. Real hot start for us. Getting Empoleon out there in match number one. Popping that competitive. We love it. We love it. Shen Pao gets out and about. And from here, like I said, plenty of times. Ice Spinner for the win. So I'll switch into U-turn. I'll go into Ice Spinner. GG to our opponent. They probably just cancel. No, they're going to stay in here. Ice Spinner. Wrap it up. 1-0 to get things started.
Moving on to our second match, and we're facing more of a meta team. They got the Iron Crown, they got the Indeedee. We already know what happens with that. A lot of expanding forces and a lot of problems. They also have the neutralizing gas on the Weezing. They're rocking out with Fluttermane, Urshifu as well. And last but not least, they got the Giraffe Long Neck Dinosaur Brontosaurus Raikou. That's what we're going to start calling it from now on. Even though I can't even remember what I just called it. It's all good. Who should we play here? Who should we go into? I like Pax Caliber. Definitely want to showcase it in today's video. So I might lead it. But I could see them going into like Indeedee and... What's that? Before? Iron Crown? So Robum might be a must for us to bring. Just so we can have a little bit of terrain control. But they could stop abilities if they wanted to with Neutralizing Gas. So going into a Pokemon. Maybe like Pax Caliber with Thermal Exchange. An ability that we're probably not going to see. Could be good. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I am going to do that. I do have D-Dance on this thing. And if I could pull off a D-Dance, that'd be beautiful. That'd be beautiful. As much as I want to bring in Thunders, if they bring Terrain, they kind of just counter us. So I think in this case, we're just going to go Shen Pao. We're just going to go Hyper Offensive here with Entei and Robin in the back end. Yes. That's what I want. That is what I want. That is what I want. All right. So for them to lead, they have multiple different options, right? Most likely it could be in the Iron. And if that's the case, we'll just hard swap Pokemon. We're going to take Terrain right off the rip. And I might just Terra, uh, Terra D-Dance. That could be good. Nice, lovely Terra D-Dance. So I got Steel Terra, which could help us get up against Fairy moves. Stuff like that. And the Steel moves that uh, Iron Crown has. But they're just going to go Iron Crown alongside with Urshifu. Which I don't mind. Uh, Urshifu could be Choice Scarf, which is a little bit of an issue. We don't like that. Um... Close combat's terrifying because our terror types do not help out at all. At all, they don't. They just don't. They just don't. Uh, I could go into Entei here, but a water move really could do me dirty. This is tough. This is tough because our terror types is n do not help us out here. Tachyon Cutter could come out here as well. Um. I'm gonna Glade Brush this slot. I'm not gonna go for Sucker Punch. They might swap into Terrain, but they don't. So Sucker Punch flying here. Big time damage. Not enough. Not enough though. Certain Strikes gonna fly here. That's gonna KO you. Maybe I should. Maybe I should Terras. Actually, you might survive this. You might survive the Shin Pao, which could be huge. Do survive. Massive. Massive. Now Tachyon Cutter is gonna probably fly through here. They're gonna take an insane amount of damage to it, and we bring you down the red too. That really sucks. So I definitely should terrestrialize you, but you might have been able to die out to that anyway. Because after using Glade Brush, you take double damage. Now we're sitting here with two Pokemon on really low HP. You actually might have died to life over No, you don't. So I could go into an E-Speed user. And I think that's going to be my play. Go into an E-Speed user. Now I think they're going to swap a Pokemon here. I feel like they have to, right? Into Indeedee. Because look at his HP. So low. Look at him. They're basically the same. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, if they're going to swap anybody, I would think it would be Urshifu. So I might just take a fire at this slot. And instead of going for Sucker Punch, I'd rather just go for like Ice Spinner into this guy and KO him. Yeah, it's going to be a play. Because he wants to stop first turn priority. Yep, there's a withdrawal into the Urshifu slot. Let's go. So Sacred Fire, now going to fly over there. They could protect and just follow me. But if they do protect this turn, we're just going to swap in the little bit in later again. But we're not going for no first turn priority. I, I read you like a book. I read you like a book. Ice Spinner flying. Iron Crown. Get going. And now Sacred Fire might even KO this Indeedee. If I'm being honest here. If I'm being honest. Oh, we take out Terrain too, which is huge Ice Spinner. And it leaves you on red. Okay, we get the burn. Okay. I was going to say, why are we leaving every Pokemon on red? It is just insane. But now Indeedee dies down to the burn. We have Urshifu really low on HP. And now might be a good time for me to swap my Entei. Just so I can get out Rillaboom and then have Entei choice in the E-Speed later, right? Depending on who they bring out here. It's going to be Fluttermane. Okay. Um. Huh. So I can easily suck a punch here. Uh, and I think I honestly just stay in here, to be honest. And the reason I say that is because 
I don't think they can KO my my Entei. Unless they double down. And I should just go here. I might just double down to you. I could just sucker punch this thing. You could be choice, but I'm just gonna sucker punch it. It kind of seems like he could be choice. But they just cancel battle. So 2 0. We love it. Final match on its way, and what a better way to start off the video. 2 0? Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. We're going up against another Psychic Terrain user. I feel like that's all we've been going up against today with Indeedy and Armors this time. They also got Primarina. They got Okie Dogie. They also have Shen Pao Dragapult. So Dragapult most likely going to be Choice Man. That's looking a little scary. But who should I lead here? Little Boom, another Pokemon that we have to bring in here. And I really want to bring in Thunderous, but I just can't with the Psychic Terrain. Psychic Terrain just does not dirty. It just doesn't dirty. So we might want to go into like a similar team. Might want to lead Bax Caliber. Might want to lead... Actually, Entei Shen Pao looks really good here with Rillaboom and Bax Caliber in the back end. That's something I actually really, really like. Yeah, so same team as last battle, but nice little different order here. I think we can get Thrive in here. I think we could. I really want to bring in Thunders, but if they lead the Psychic Terrain, it's just a problem. But if they don't, I'm going to be so upset that I didn't bring because I would love to get the Speed Control. I could hear Impulse Drop onto like the Pre-Marina or something. And it's just going to be a problem. But end up going Pre-Marina and Armor, which I don't mind that lead. No, it's one bit. Entei Shen Pao come out here. I feel like we could just start spamming E-Speeds if we want to. Definitely an option. Definitely an option. I could go for Sucker Punch if I want to into Armor. Um, I could choice into Stop and Catch, which isn't bad either. Could go Normal Terra. We might want to go Normal Terra here. I'm gonna go to normal Terra. I'm just gonna start e speeding this slot down. Actually, let's go into the Armors. Let's do that, and let's just. I might double down to Armors here. Just in case he wants to try slash, right? He would have a Grass Terra. He would have a nice little Grass Terra. They could swap Pre Marina. It's an option, but they're not. So, us double down Armors could be a big play as long as he doesn't protect. So, no swap into the Indeed here. We're choosing into e speed. And I think next turn, we might hard swap Entei, right? We're going to have to hard swap Entei. He's going to go for an Indoor here. You're Indoor. You got, you got a few tricks up your sleeve, dude. You definitely got a few tricks up your sleeve. He's speed flying here. Big time damage coming out here. He's going to weak on the pile. So his defense is going to go down, but his speed's going to go up. So his speed is going to be a good friend of ours. So I already know his play. He wants to boost his speed now. He wants to boost his speed, and he wants to swap Primarina for Indeedy and just start popping Expanded Forces. Which is fine by me. If you want to pop Expanded Force, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to swap Entei into Rillaboom here. I got Vest on him. I can do that. And from here, I'm just going to Ice Spinner the Armor slot down. Because I am Dark-type. You can't hit me with Expanded Force if that's what you're looking to win to. So I'm going to swap to Entei just in case they want to swap it to the Indeedy. And we'll go from there. Rillaboom coming out here. Lovely little Rillaboom. I take the hard swap. Are they even swapping? Are they even swapping? They are. They are. So, terrain does not work out, but as long as I get off this ice spinner, it's gonna be nice, because then I just destroy terrain and I take out armors at the same time. But I would think he would be going for expanded force, right? Rather than, like, an armor cannon. Then you go for heat wave, and that just does me dirty, man. That really just does me dirty really does be dirty so making the bad read there heat wave smart play for him to go into okay now my play is to go into back caliber i can't terrasize in the steel i can't um but i could go into you oh man i'm gonna go into back caliber here with the loaded dice now i can just follow me out here i could just start in queuing could start EQ. I could. I could, but then I would have to swap into. I'd rather U turn here. So I'm gonna go for U turn and I'm just gonna go for an EQ. So I would think follow me would come out here. Man. Man, that's tough. After going 2 0, second turn doing me dirty. They end up which on in DD, which is just such a smart play. And they go back into Pre Marina. So Pre Marina's gonna come out here. Um, I don't mind that. And Armour's gonna expand the force. Can you soak this up, Backcalibur? 
Both my Pokemon soak. Ooh wee. Both my Pokemon soak. And of course, I KO my Roll Boom with this EQ. I crit the armors though. We love it. <laughs> so I ended up dying out there. That was just a case for to follow me. And now we're just sitting in such a tough position. Real tough position. We're gonna need to clutch up with our boys. I can't ease speed either. So Flare Blitz Sacred Fire is gonna have to be our play. And as long as this Primarina outspeeds us, it's not look good. And they have Shen Pao. Yeah, that's that's the match. Wrap it up. So 2-1 record for today's video. Really struggled here in match number three. They just played really, really well. Doing some, some uh, what is it called? Unorthodox plays, I should say. But I'm just going to go for Sacred Fire here. He's probably just going to uh, go into what's it called. Take a sword. Yeah, and just dump on me. So there's that. Nice little liquid voice, hyper voice coming out here. That's going to wrap up today's video. Or I should say three matches. Not bad, though. Absolutely love this team. Dominated with the back scalp in match number one. Actually, match number two, I think we used. Yeah, match number two, we used back scalp. But match number one, we thrived out with competitive Empoleon up against that Incineroar. But there's Dazzling Gleam. Night, night. Good game. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, lovely 2 1 winning record in today's video. Love this team so much. Thank you so much, George, for sending this in. And pulling on with competitive. Always solid up against all the Intimidate users in the meta right now especially in Cinnador, and then Loaded Dice back Excalibur works very, very solidly. We didn't get to use its Loaded Dice item, but still, Glaive Rush doing some big time damage in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.